Hello, this is Bruce with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map a drive to an Office 365 SharePoint site. The video was inspired by a post by Tom Rezing at the URL shown here. So to create a map drive, first thing you want to do is navigate to your SharePoint site, which I've done. Once I've navigated and logged into my SharePoint site, it is important that you set the site as either an intranet site or a trusted site. In Internet Explorer, you can do that through your settings, internet options, and then on the security tab, you would select the trusted sites, click the sites button, and then you can add the site in as a trusted site, which I've already done. My site, the webdicator 609sharepointcom is in the list of trusted sites. Once you've done that, you can open up your Windows Explorer. And what I like to do to map a drive from Windows Explorer, if you're using the Windows 8 or Server 2012 interface, is I use the network icon, right click the network icon, and then choose the option to map a network drive. When the map network drive dialog opens, you would add the address or type the address of your SharePoint site, including the HTTPS. Click the finish. This opens up a new window where you can see the root contents of your site. Now, if the reason that you're mapping this drive is to do branding, which it typically is, the branding folder is a hidden folder. So what you can do is type in the underscore catalogs onto the Z drive that you've mapped, or in, that, in this case, my drive letter is the Z drive. And then when I hit enter, I can see the contents of the catalogs folder, which includes a subdirectory with my master page. So if I double click my master page, this shows me all the current master pages in my site, and this would allow me to create my own custom master page. Or if I go back to the original directory, I could also use this for any type of branding or customization. Uh, I've got access to the themes folder, design folder, whatever folders I want to get into to perform my customizations. And this allows me to work with tools other than, say, something like SharePoint Designer. I can really use whatever web developer tool I want to create those items, cascading style sheets, master pages, so on and so forth. But that's it for this presentation. Thanks again to Tom Rezing for the inspiration for this video. You can check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to SharePoint.